What is going on guys? In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the Create Table API for DynamoDB. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna to talk to you about what this API is, kind of how it works, why it's useful. And then second, I'm gonna show you a Node.js example and JavaScript of how to actually uh, set up a query or set up a call and then actually execute it. Um, so first of all, like why do you wanna use Create Table? Why would you call this programmatically? Uh, so there's a couple different use cases, but this API is generally used just to create tables um, through code uh, as opposed to using it through the console. Um, so you get to specify a bunch of different input parameters. You also get to specify things like your primary key, your range key, uh, your global secondary indexes, your local secondary indexes, uh, provision capacity, all that stuff you can specify as part of this API request. And if any of those terms didn't make sense to you, especially GSI, LSI, provision capacity, uh, go and check out the other videos that I have on my channel. I have multiple different in-depth videos on all of those topics, uh, so be sure to check those out. Um, so in terms of the Create Table API itself, uh, it's very straightforward. You just pass in a bunch of requests uh, or parameters for your request rather. Um, and then like I was saying here, you can define secondary indexes um, as part of this operation as well. Uh, so it's probably better off just to actually look at the example of this since it's a lot more telling of how it works. Um, so this is an example here. Now we're setting up a params variable that's gonna contain all of the um, specifications for this table. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Um, so attribute definitions is the key and we're providing an array here as you can see. Uh, so we're gonna have a artist column and that's gonna be a string and we're gonna have a song title column that's also gonna be a string and that's specified through the attribute name and attribute type uh, key that you can see here. And then here is where we're specifying um, the range keys, the um, partition keys, all that kind of jazz inside the key schema key. Um, and you can see it's also an array. If you wanna specify, um, you know, in this example, there's only two things that we're specifying, but there can also be more if you want to specify maybe a local secondary index or stuff like that. Um, so what are we doing here? So we're saying the attribute name artist is going to be a key type and it's gonna be our hash key. Um, and then here we're saying our song title is gonna be our range key. Um, so obviously, depending on your table schema, these values will be different. Um, mine would be transaction ID and creation date in my table example. Uh, and then if we scroll down a little bit, we can see that we're setting the provision throughput to be five read capacity units and five write capacity units. And then we're also specifying the table name being music. Now, I also want to draw your attention to the fact that like this is only a small subset of all of the different uh, values that you can pass into the res this request. Uh, you can set up DynamoDB streams, you can set up DynamoDB triggers, um, you can use the on-demand provision model as opposed to the provision model that we're seeing here. Um, so I'd encourage you to check out this documentation and make sure you're using the right settings for your example. Uh, however, this kind of uh, input is a very basic uh, example just to get you started. I think it, it'll work for a lot of people that are just kind of toying with um, the SDK for now. And then we're just saying here, we're uh, calling the create table API, pass in those parameters, pass in a callback function, and then you can kind of see what uh, happens if it's an error case, and then see what happens if it's a success case. Uh, so keep in mind, once this succeeds, it's an asynchronous operation. So you'll get a success code back, but uh, Dynamo will take some time, usually a minute or two, depending on the complexity of your table, uh, to actually create the table. So you can check out its progress in the console to make sure it's created before you start using it. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on my next ones. Thanks so much, folks, and I'll see you next time.